Okay, we're going to tie the X caddis. This is a Mustard R30, size 14, dry fly hook. Uh, attach your tying thread. Um, this is a fly that uh, I wouldn't go fishing without. This is a great pattern, uh, both as a, an attractor and under a caddis hatch. Remove the excess uh, thread. And what you need to do here now is just build up a, a cigar tapered with, with a heavier front end body tapering back towards the tail of the fly. Just backwards and forwards. And this can be fished in uh, in any size from 22 uh, up to size uh, 10. Now a bit of polypropylene yarn, just hook it behind, place it on top of the hook like that, using the weight of the bobbin to hold it in place. Fold it over, and this will help also help you taper your, uh, your body of the fly. And wrap this down to the hook shank, back all the way to the tail. There we go. Now the original pattern uses uh, Zelon uh, for this trailing shuck. It's not really a tail, uh, but uh, polypropylene yarn will do the same trick. Now, forward, and just get that uh, tapered body sorted out. It's a very quick fly to tie, very easy. And you can do it in uh, whatever colour uh, you feel is your best attractor, or if you're matching the hatch of uh, small caddis flies. Forward. Just spinning my thread there to twist it up again. Now, dear hair, nicely marked points you can see here. Once those are level, they'll make a really nice uh, wing. So we just cut a, a small bunch, you only want a small wing on this, no, nothing heavy. In the hair stacker, a few bangs just to uh, even the points. There we go. There you can see the markings on the tips, make a, a very nice wing. Measure your wing, put it in that hand, you don't want it much longer than that. Now again, once, twice, and tighten up. Then you can whip it down. There's the wing. Fold it back. You want a little bit of build up under the head, just so you can keep the head up away from the uh, hook eye. This gives a much more uh, wake effect uh, when pulled through the water. There we go. And we'll give it one more whip finish. There we are. Now, <clears throat> remove your tying thread. Now, when removing all that surplus hair at the front to form the head, I like to try and get it all in one hand like that. I'll try and illustrate that by turning it on its side. Keep the wing out of it. And then a very sharp blade. This is a Peltex knife. Place it just right above the hook eye on one cut. You get a nice tight even head each time. Okay, and we have the uh, the finished ex caddis great pattern both as an attractor and uh, uh, an imitative pattern